Oh! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Keep the Game, where we are playing Xenoblade Chronicles last episode. I did another part of Mechonis Field. We cleared a couple of quests. Hopelessly looking for a way to get five stars of affinity with a fallen arm. So that I could maybe complete the Confidia PDF from Sword Valley, but that ain't gonna happen. So we're just gonna continue, because I don't give a single crap anymore. Keep, keep on going forward. They are not gonna attack you. <laughs> just ignore them. Uh, you see that uh, emerald unit over there? You need to beat that one for a quest. The trick one? Yes. Remember, you don't have to fight an entire horde, by the way. Also, if you can hear any, any weird sound in the background, it might be my cat. My cat doing the good old curry. Because he decided to come over to me. Yeah. I'm a guy in my days, all. I keep on thinking, like. Maybe I should get rid of the spike gem on on, uh, on Ricky. Because I keep on thinking that, that there's an enemy being using the spike damage. Nicely done. Okay. Now beat the rest <laughs> and go into the elevator. Come on. Yes, you can. <laughs> I'm wondering how the mic is gonna take this. Especially because my cat first very well now, so... Oh, lay down. Yeah. Look at this! Look at this! This hasn't happened in a while, by the way, right? This is amazing. This is perfect for me to make videos. <laughs> Standing a cat on my lap, that's amazing. This has never happened before, by the way. This is unprecedented! Uh, one of them is toppled and is giving his fight down. But he doesn't like much. Just remember, when you see purple damage, Especially a lot of damage. You should probably uh, watch out. What you do? Heat up on, very cool. Almost dead. Fight for a second, second time. Uh, when you're done with the grunt, use a chain attack on the dogma unit. Yep, let's go. Mighty laser. Ah, quick enough. Oh yeah, he's a blue guy, of course he's gonna do some more. Um, let's see, what are you gonna do? How about you use Thunder Relic? And then Discharge? Okay, now use a Red Arc. Um, I don't know which one does the most matter. Thanks. Stop instead of continuing to use headshot. Like times three headshot. Would be pretty dang powerful. Or times four, I think. I don't know. Do you remember this part of the song? You can taste it. Doesn't matter much. The dazing enough is already good enough, really. And he is. Come on, one more discharge, Melia. Melia AI being an idiot, of course. Doesn't matter. There you go, sleek sandals. <laughs> Can you imagine Ricky being like, Woo! Ricky fuck sandals! Nom 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 nom. And then just start speeding him. We get speed boosters, but they don't have slots, so they're trash. No, 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 no. If you get low enough, those uh, F speed boosters, and then you also get an assault on it, it's really good. Lord Leggings, Mac and Driver 2, which we already have that one. Oh no, we don't. But it's gonna be about the same power as the other one. But the other one we have, like, we can put gems where we want to. Go through the door, my friend. Oh, okay, that's it. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the door that we unlocked. There you go. Whoop. Call Palo. Alright. <clears throat> High velocity left. Yes, time to die. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty dangerous. I'm really hoping that the purring of the cat is not gonna... It's not gonna go to the mic like crazy. I don't think so, though. And if it does, well... Sorry! Might be able to edit it out. If I feel like it. It doesn't really look like high velocity, does it? No. Sounds cool though. 
it does take a buttload of time to get to the top. You know, if the elevator would go too fast, you would just pass out. You would pass out, and then we reached the top, and it had to stop really quickly with flying here. Yeah. Yes. This way. Yes. <laughs> That's big, a big giant door. That's a big door you got there. The the thingy, the gates of justice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait for a second before you continue. Is this a landmark? No, right? Fuck. Um. Wait, don't continue going. Um. We missed the unique monster, but we can come back for him. Continue going. Until you have a... Uh, yeah. Until you have a... I don't want to do that elevator again. Just continue going until we have... A... That mark. You see the wind effect? Yeah. It's amazing. I love this game! Same as I love my cat. <laughs> oh, you can still go back. Please, go back. Okay. The thing is, it's just for that we don't forget about it. Alright, and then we're also just done with the comms field. Um, you have to go, let's see, 4F main power switch. Yes, yes, that one. Okay, and then if you open up the map, yeah. it is east from that point. Right. Um, this way. Yeah. Wait, it's east of the 4F main power switch and on the southern side of the platform. So I have to go down. It's one of those, it's one of those ones. If you can see the screen right now, it's one of those ones. Hmm. One of the buff units. It's probably, probably that one, maybe. I don't know actually. Nah, probably not. Just fight this one. <laughs> Before it starts to fight with you. Because now we get to get the shit in here. And he's down! But he doesn't die, which is good. No, 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 it's like trying to be like funny. My cat's trying to get all. So when he's jumping, like when he wants to jump, he's always like shaking his butt a little bit. Getting ready to jump. <laughs> so now he's fat and old. Fortunately, there's no face cam that I can show off right now. Okay, let's get going. But we cannot be reckless. Nah, it's not necessary. If I want to take a picture of the cat, I'll take one later. Is that the one that we need? Oh yeah, this. Well, wow. it's gonna be fucking easy. Let's get this done and dusted. I will give it my all. I will give it my all. You can daze him. Please. If you can one shot this thing, that would be amazing. If you could, right? It would be like one unique monster you can just one shot. That would be like really difficult to daze and topple or whatever. Mm -hmm. That you could hit with a headshot. That would be amazing. Make it lost. Excuse me. There are women here. <laughs> Melia, what the hell is Melia doing? She literally just stood there watching the enemy. How about you, Jane? I think we can do it. Are you sure about that? Yeah, it's not a little bit. Discharge. So you have three of those picked in bolts and then use a single one of them. Use a red arc so we can use a uh, headshot. He's right in front of you so it doesn't matter what you do. Yes! 
If you could only just continue the chain attack a little bit longer with Melia, then we could use a level 4 or 5 uh, bolt discharge to do a lot of damage right now. With it being like the only arc that we have on level 10. And he's dead! He's, he's, he's dead! <laughs> Reinforcements. Nice. Take a look at the quests after you've gotten chest. I just want to do this. You like it when I do this. Alright, uh, take a look at the quest for a second. Um, yes, documents and shit. <laughs> documents and shit. Take a look at the new quest and the current quest. No new ones. Current ones is Paul and the Rain. Okay. Take a look at the affinity chart for a second. We now have five stars of affinity with a hidden village. I'm gonna kill some people, I think, later. <laughs> but that's frustrating. Uh, okay, take a look at the affinity of party. How is it going between uh, Charla and Fiora? Ah, uh, Charla and Melia, sorry. Still a green. Why are you so annoying, Melia? <laughs> Alright, doesn't matter, matter. Continue. Uh, wait, no, go back. Well, actually, just... Just to be 100% sure, go back to the fall now for me. We did beat all of the unique monsters in uh, McConnell's Field. Mm -hmm. So that is quite good, I would say. Just to the... Yeah, just to the village. Are we gonna start leaving, my fat dude? Sword Valley, uh, the Delirium Fox Club. Um, Rizaka. Um, during the day, my friend. Uh, mm. At the Ether Light, that light thing over there. During the day. Her name is Rizaka. You need to talk to her and get her to give you stuffs. And I can fill in the Fallen Arm Collectipedia. So you're here to trade? Nope. I'm just here checking. Alright. Let's get the item. The Delirian Fox Glove. Mm -hmm. Here's the one from 12. The three tweets. Because <laughs> of course. Alright, let's go over to the Collectopedia and fill in the Sword Valley one. Um. This is the fall nine. Go one more to the left. Sorry, two more. There you go. Cool, I think that we're not gonna use it, I don't care, it's 100% and it's satisfying as hell. Okay, go back to the McConnell's Field and continue the story. Uh, the place where we stopped, if you go forward from that point onwards, you will not be able to go to the Sword Valley anymore. You see? Okay. Yeah. So. Just wanted to warn people, if you want to go to Sword Valley, do it now. Defeat all the unique monsters, if you want to. Go back for that one shitty fortress unit. Now is the time to do so. The Zebra. <laughs> the Zebra Bullcat. No, the Zebra Bullcat. You gonna roll with this party? Uh, yeah, you are. Yeah. Okay. Then continue. <laughs> Step over the line. Are you okay? She looks very tired. 
Should she not get some rest? Oh, thank you. But really, I'm okay. No. We'll find a safe place to rest. We've hardly stopped since we left the village. Ricky tired too. Ricky tummy rumble. We've also been running up and you. down the McCons. <sighs> a lot of times. Time to park our. Get down! Ah! A mech on assault. Can anyone see them? Another vision. Nice one, Shulk. No, it wasn't. Shulk? You did well to evade me. Just what you'd expect from he who wields the Monado. That voice. It's a face, Mekon. Is there someone inside? What do we do, Shulk? We fight. But don't kill him. I thought you might say that. Right. Meet one of my favorite named Macon. Ghetto is inside here, isn't he? Maybe. Um. I'm afraid you must be exterminated. So, um, he has this ranged attack, linear laser four. Yeah. And if you don't hide behind those things, he's gonna hit you and hit you with paralysis. So you wanna hide behind this thing? He's gonna stop. Wait a second, though. And this is just gonna continue. You have to get to him. There's also a couple of enemies on the way, but they won't attack you, so... This is high level. But you just have to get to him. His name is J Jade Face. Oh, they will attack you, wow. Um, he's named Jade Face because, of course, he has the color of Jade. Which I really like. Um, yeah, these are scouts. Uh, like, they are Fiolas, which is not even scouts. Well, this sucks. I'm not sure if you actually have to fight Jade Face at the end of this. And even still, doesn't matter. You, you, I'm a bad one. Anyway. I do like the way they did this, having like a little bit of a gimmick battle. Oh boy, it's gonna start scratching. Of course, yes. Make more fucking noise. Hey, hey, it's a cat. What do you think? I expect it to be fucking silent! Well, I do expect this particular cat to be silent, because usually he is. But right now, he just wants to attack him. I just expect it's going to be silent. And annoy me. Hmm. Alright. Let's continue going to the next. How about you just go to that one? Instead of going all the way around. Well, you can choose, please, but I think if you get hit, you're gonna have an issue. <laughs> Especially with the under enemies in the way. You can just continue running now and thinking about it. Don't stop for the enemies. <laughs> Coming to get you, bitch! That one's gonna shoot a laser, but that's gonna do damage, right? Continue running. Just continue running. Oh no, he saw me again! He's gonna use this linear laser for! Alright, Jade Face. Don't you find it crazy like that in the beginning of the game it was like, oh my god, faced mech on. And it was like a really big issue. And now it's just like, oh, faced mech on. It's like, okay, we know what to do now. We have the means to fight them now. Alright. It is time to fight Jade Face. Jade Face is difficult. So okay. Ooh. Heal. Heal, because you're gonna die. Oh, well. Oops. Doesn't matter. Alright, see about taking care of the little enemies first, and then taking care of the cat as well. Fuck, I spoiled it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you knew it already. You knew it already. Yeah. Like, with uh, the one. Um, what's the name again? Yeah. There was like a certain moment, right? Right? Uh, when you just enter the Mechonis or something that um, they show you that he's like that his memories are being deleted 
Oh, yeah. Now it's like the memories from Shaw, of course, and then... I think, like, if you know how it works up, in this, up until this point, you know, like, okay, yeah. It's probably Gato. It's either Gato or somebody who... Or something that has the mind of Gato. But it doesn't matter if it's Gato or not, because... Agil deleted all of his memories. Yeah, that's an issue. So... No. You still don't know shit. What are you doing, actually? You're way too far away. Oh. You're not a sniper. You're not a sniper king, okay? How about you let them focus on one of the other? And the thing is, you don't have to stay far away with Shaw, by the way. There's no point in Aside from the, if the enemy uses some kind of an area attack. You just have to stand on my paws. Alright, quite a lot. Alright. Like. Oh. <sighs> ah, isn't it lovely? Watching somebody do a battle. Being very <laughs> not organized in the battle. Because it's one more difficult thing to do in the game. It's a good thing that we're high level. Yeah. Well, and even the thing is, if we weren't high level, it would be difficult, for instance. But then I would probably like, like, uh, how do you say? I would probably just force you to win this battle, like I did with Assassin's Creed. That was amazing, though. The best part about it was just at the end, you just knew what to do. That was probably like a lot, like a pretty big Dark Souls mode. Watch out, you're already there. And he's over there. Yeah. Alright, if you want to, you can technically do a chain attack. Um. Hmm. Use. Uh, Metal Boss. Alright, alright, just discharge. And now. Oh. Okay. Just in. Okay. Shala! Gatto! It's you, isn't it? Please answer me! Let me see you! The destruction of the Monado. That is the will of Lord Egil. Gado? What do you mean, Lord? What's Egil done to you? What's wrong, Gado? Why would you say that? Speak to me, Gado! This world is in disarray. I must eliminate the cause of this disorder and restore the world to its original form. That is my duty. Nay, the will of the world. Now, the time has come. The time to restore order. Gado, stop! Gado. Shala! Oh, it's again. What does it mean? I don't know. I don't know either. Say it again.
There's, there's gold and shit, Megal. Hmm. Lady Mayneth. It is not far off now. A world in which there is no need for fear. The hour draws near. Our will shall soon be done. First, there is the matter of the Monado. Our victory can only be assured if we destroy the Monado before it's too late. I sense your existence. I know you are alive. Zanza, the hour is upon us. Your time has come. Wait, what? Shulk. Hmm? Shulk. <coughs> Who's calling my name? You have acquired the ability to glimpse the future. The ability to understand the law of causality as decided by a higher power. A higher power? Like the Bionis? Why do you desire to change the future? Why do you wish to act against their will? I do just as anyone would do. It is natural to want to change an unhappy future. If that is their will, then I choose to fight. If that is what you wish, Shulk, then you must find your Monado. My Monado? Precisely. The one true Monado. You can't do that, because you aren't here, not anymore. <gasps> hmm. What? Some very cryptic stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, is, is everyone okay? Yeah. That was a close one. I mean, how on Bionis did we survive that? We seem all right. I don't know. It could be that we were just lucky, but I'm sure there must be more to it than that. You were protected by the power of Lady Mayneth. Who's there? A machina. Are you... Vanea? Vanea? Does that mean you're... Mikol's daughter? I am glad you are safe. Lady Mayneth. Okay. Lady Mayneth? That face was sent to destroy you. I am truly happy you're all right. You're lying. Gado would never try and hurt us. Sadly, his home's memories no longer remain. The current faces are nothing more than weapons, designed to annihilate all life on Bionis. It can't be. Faces are created by directly integrating the brainstem and metabolic organs of Homs into Mekon. Memories and emotion are nothing but a hindrance to an effective weapon. However, the early faces were experimental. Many retained memories from their former lives. This prevented them from executing their missions effectively. More recent faces have had all memories of their previous lives completely erased. Is that because of me? No, it is not your fault. 
Mumkar seems the more likely candidate. His attachment to us was too strong. You could say it caused his destruction. That sword one and all. You are correct. No. It's not true. Oh. My Gaddo. Sharla? Explain it to me. I mean, why does Egil want to make us into Mekon? What's the reason for all this? In order to counter the Monado. I knew it. The Monado is ineffective against the Hyentia, the Homs, against all races of Bionis. Egil suffered a bitter defeat in the battle one year ago. After that, he theorized that he could counter the Monado by integrating organic life from Bionis. Of course. Initially, the Monado couldn't take a Homs life. It can now, though. It could not harm those who share the blood of Zamza. That was its sole weakness. But Zanza lifted that constraint. Those who share the blood of Zanza? Who is that giant? The progenitor of the Homs. Him? And once the friend of my brother, Egil, before they became sworn enemies. <sighs> it was Zanza who devastated Makonis. What? Fucking loading times. And this is what I was talking wow. about. Look at that bit. Are they the Havarans? They're the latest anti mechon weapons, designed by Lorothea and the Ministry of Research. What a glorious sight. The coming together of all the peoples of Bionis. Yes, sir. This is how it should always have been. Then perhaps father would not. Your Highness! We are fortunate that Dixon informed us of the enemy's new weapon. Our defenses are ready. Today, we start our campaign against Galahad Fortress. Just beyond the fortress lies the Imperial capital of Mekonis. This is a battle to determine not just our own fates, but the future of all life on Bionis. We fight for future prosperity and the glory and honor of all. Troops, advance! I got goosebumps from that song, by the way. I like that. I very much think. Uh, I also really hope it's fixed. Are you saying that Zanza is to blame yeah. for Maconis' devastation? It's Zanza's it's that sword that I'm using. Yeah. Does this mean we're enemies? And if so, why are you... Shulk, calm down. Sorry, I... I will take you to the Mekonis capital, Agniritha. Is that your plan? Lead us straight to the gates of our enemy? <laughs> Deliver us into Egil's hands? It will be quicker to show you than to explain. Then you will understand the history of Maconis and the battle between the two titans. Up ahead is a lift that leads to the central factory within the chest of the Maconis. The capital, Agniratha, lies just beyond there. No. All right, uh, so now you have to, unfortunately enough, run all the way to the back of this hallway. Um, I want you to enter Agniritha. Or do I? I think... I think that you should be able... Oh yeah, I totally forgot about this. Nice. Um, sure, just go enter Agniritha, get the first landmark, and then turn around. I guess we're going to do some side. It's not a lot though, I don't think so in any case. Right now we just have all of the stuff that we need to get for increasing uh, Colony 6 reconstruction again. Wait, does it you that we Yeah. The second camel is uh, Wait. You know what? No. Let's not go to Agnetic quite yet. I want to make 
I want to make it a moment when we enter it near the... Oh. Oh no, wait. Actually, no, continue going. I totally forgot about something. We first have to go to the central factory. I totally skipped an entire area, by the way. We first have to go to the center of factory, like she said, like in the chest of the comes. And uh, capital is on head. The next area does have one of my favorite songs in the game. It really fits like the time of the game that you're doing this thing. Okay. This looks like I'm playing Doom. Yeah? This has Doom vibes. <laughs> it's the Red Chronicles Doom vibes. Yep. Definitely Doom vibes. The only thing missing is demons. Mechon might as well be demons. Yeah. This is the central factory within the chest of the Mechonis. Can you see the ring up ahead? Mm -hmm. At the base of that ring is a transporter that leads to Agniratha. We must first head there. This place is full of autonomous security, Mekon. Tread carefully. Okay, now... Um... Let's first go and, before we continue, um, let's just go and do the side quest right now. And then off camera, we're gonna go and do a backup of your saves. Wanna know why? I'm not sure how it specifically works, but there's a certain glitch that can happen in this area, which will wipe your save data. I haven't, I've never had it happen to me. The thing is, like, I watched the Let's Play from Sawyer Conroy, and he had it happen to him. So, yeah. I don't know what, I, I don't know the specifics of it, but I want to, to back up the save data just in case. Because if you lose everything we've done up to up this point, the Let's Play is dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want it to be dead. <laughs> Alright, let's go and do the side quest first. Uh, you have to go back to Colony 6. What do you think of the music? I couldn't really listen to it. No? Nope? Okay, well then you'll listen to it later when we're going to the area. Alright, so go back over to the Reconstruction HQ. The headquarters. Mm -hmm. What the hell did I get a text for? We're just both needing to do this. That's never happened before. Reconstruct. Mm -hmm. We need, uh, if I go back upwards, uh, we need to increase the housing and the commerce to level 4, if you can. No. Okay. Um, oh boy. What's the commerce? Oh my god, no! God save us. Please, oh god save us. Um, colony six. Reconstruction. Oh yes, we can trade for these items because we have five towers of affinity with uh, the fallen arm. There you go. Nice. Okay, so please go and do that. Or do you want me to do this stuff? I'll do it. Okay. You have to go over to Elika. Okay, I know where she is. 
Alika is uh, the one female machina outside of the village. Machina. On the fallen arm. Because that's where all the machina are. If you remember the races. You know, robot people? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Where is you? <laughs> Popular page Shock and Blade. Yes, mm. go over there and just uh, leave the village. Go to the right. And you should be able to see her standing there. I'm in the corner. <laughs> Watching you trade this. Oh. Praise the lord that we don't have to farm for this stuff, man. Yeah. That's an actual pain in the ass. Because we need five of those pony or hoof things. And they are... I think they are... Um, like rare items. Don't accept any quests. Without my consent. <laughs> Please. Freaking Carlos. This isn't a big time rush. Funny yeah. job. Uh, to the right. Turn today. I passed the wrong button. Because we have magical time powers. Which is actually weird. I find it pretty dang crazy that even on this like on this wiki, look at this like a recent wiki activity, there's like a lot of stuff from Zimbabwe Chronicles 1 on that stuff. It's like the wiki is still being updated. This is a good wiki. <laughs> it's an actual good wiki. Alright, go to the items. Yes. Pony hoof seals. We need five of those, so just use items. Don't use these things. It must be to me as well sometimes. Yeah. I wish I knew my better, my, my better body, you know, I wish I knew my body's better sometimes. Huh. Neo Nick. Who the hell is Neo Nick? Oh no, wait, sexy. For a second. Ether light during the night. Excellent, it's day, cool. I, uh, yes, I am gonna fast travel <laughs> to the middle of the village. Because I'm a lazy fuck. I'm a lazy little bugger. Where's the game from for sake? I'm a sexy little baby. Okay. There we go. Look at my cat just dead eyeing me. Fuck me, man. Royal full fight. We need three of those. Only one trait is required. There we go. I bid you farewell. I bid you farewell also. Okay, uh, shilks. Fuck me, what else shilks? Male. Male. Uh, male. He's a male. Um, where is he? Near the shops and hidden mac in a village during the day. Would you look at that? There you go. Where are you? Hello. Time to trade eight times with you. <laughs> uh. Give me for these silver antel fibers. You might remember them from earlier. Yeah. You need them for another shitty quest. That's another thing that I find really annoying when people, uh, when you have people that are like, oh no, I don't want to be in a photograph. You know? Yeah. Like yeah. the moment that I notice that someone's gonna take a picture of me, I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm just gonna look, look at, at the thing. And like I know about, I know that. Like, that's probably one of the reasons why my sister likes taking pictures of me, because I just. At least try to look good in a picture. Well, not look good. I just, I don't know, man. I just try to. I just look at a picture. I'm trying to just do the thing that I would usually do, which is the best way I can get a picture. Right? Yeah. You can just get a picture like out of nowhere, just when you're doing random stuff. Sometimes it can be horrifyingly bad. That makes it funny. <laughs> so yeah, it's no problem. It's no problem. I just noticed something that I fucked up. There what is. did you fuck up? We still need something like this. Radio carpet coast in the beach. Can I please just... Oh. This is a red drop. We're gonna be farming for my boy! Right. Let me go and take a look. Why did I press the fall arm stuff? Dun 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 dun. The fair piranhas. 
Drone hacks? Yeah, drone hacks. Fucking hacks. Alright, I'm gonna go and uh, increase the housing level. And then I'm gonna farm for the other things if I don't have enough in any case. Would you look at that? We have a lot of housing. Yeah, Ooh, even not on houses. That's nice. Ba -da -da. That sound is so funny. Da -da -da. It's like so calming, and then so like, <laughs> can you imagine like, like it being totally calm around the entire colony, and then Juju, when the thing is done, it's like has this freaking trumpet of some kind in the middle of the freaking colony. <laughs> That would be so fucking cool, actually. That would be ridiculously cool. I need five Pyronex fish meals. <laughs> and they are red off. Well, red right up there. Oh, dead. shit, cramps. Oh, oh, that. Oof. <laughs> it's so red off. Oh. Oof. Oof. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. I'd say deserved, but this time you don't deserve it. There's no reason for you to have cramps. Uh, no, there is a reason because you're having this upwards. No, no. I'm gonna stop being in this now. <laughs> Where else? Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, Look I remember having to farm for this. Socks on my, hmm? my socks. Look at the radio on my socks. No, but look, my socks, they have, they have doggos. I on saw them. your doggos on. I saw it. I've seen your doggos before, mate. That's impossible. No. Uh, well, I, I saw it later i think today that could be like earlier today how you say it i don't know so these were the ones that we had to farm for if you didn't if you couldn't trade the other stuffs <laughs> but now we're gonna have to farm for fucking fish it's gonna be an even bigger pain in the ass the enemy's let's do it yeah. oh it's a new game even if i don't have anything to do with this series then we're just going to jump right in everybody does it which i find a little bit annoying sometimes well, the thing is, you just have the YouTubers who just play all the new stuff. I don't know, man. I, I guess I'm just salty about the fact that... <laughs> well, but the thing is, they have to do something to keep the... Yeah, that's the thing. That's, stuff, the, that's so. the thing that I was thinking about also. They're also just people, but... I don't know. Yeah. The one thing that I still find really annoying is clickbait. Yeah. Clickbait, I, like, if there's a video that says that they're going to do a certain thing, they don't do a thing, I'm just... All right. I'm mad <laughs> when I do that. Yeah. I don't write any comments because that's not the kind of guy I am, but still. There we go! No, but when I have a clickbait video, I usually like dislike, dislike it. it. Yeah. Pro I probably should do it also. New music. Huh. Because you've upgraded the column 6 to a certain point. Ta da! <laughs> Juju. <laughs> I'm never gonna look at it any other way. It's gonna be Juju, like, blowing his horn. A fix in the solution. Sweeping the nation? I don't know. Alright, uh, it is still your episode, but it's already 9, 59 minutes, so maybe... Hmm. The thing is, you did finish off like the story bit. The next episode, I'm going to have to do a side quest episode anyway, so... Yeah. Might not be that bad of an idea to just... And then call it quits over here. Just need one more item in the fallen arm. That's an item I'm going to have to farm for. Man, I wonder why we didn't get any items in the central factory. Hmm. I wonder. Okay, you can end up the episode. Um, I'm gonna tell you the funny thing I was gonna tell you, and then we're gonna do quests. Okay. Episode. Okay, guys. Can you stop doing that? No. Like when you're yawning, yours is like a. And it's really annoying to hear you when you're through the mic. But you can just. I am. I don't do it. I'm not gonna cut out a second of you making some noise. <laughs> you could. I could, but it's it seriously screws up like the flow of the video. Like suddenly do a cut, especially when you're in the middle of doing something. Do like because a... you tend to make noises when there's like a story cutscene or when there there's yes. <laughs> well, of course, because like the story cutscene, the moment that you don't have to use the controller for the moment, then you just start doing random crap. You make sounds of some kind, and then well, yeah. It doesn't ruin it, of course, but still. I just get annoyed by you your sound. Keep it out of something like. Uh, In the middle of a cutscene! Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm sorry. <laughs> just keep it in your mind, okay? Okay, I will. Just keep it. You can do all the freaking weird stuff. You can do most of the weird stuff you want off camera, but please. 
try to think about keeping the weird sounds and stuff off him. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. And we'll see you guys next episode. Goodbye. Goodbye!